Welcome to Electronic Medium. If you haven't been here before, this is a paranormal channel that talks about true crime. Seeing this case about little Kamari Holland makes me wonder if this isn't what happened to Summer. I pray that it's not. But let's take a look at little Kamari. She went missing on the morning of December 13th, 2021 from Columbus, Georgia. Mom woke up in the morning and said her front door was open and Kamari was just gone. Kamari is a five-year-old beautiful little girl and I am doing a spirit box session. It will be after these clips. So if you're interested in the spirit box session, please stay tuned. This is a case that may be disturbing to some viewers. This is a trigger warning. Continuing breaking news coverage right here on WTVM News Leader 9. I'm Ben Stanfield. A little girl was reported missing yesterday in Columbus and was found dead in Russell County. We're going to take you live right now to a press conference at the Russell County Sheriff's Office at the podium. Currently, that's Sheriff Heath Taylor, Russell County, Alabama. I'd like to uh, welcome everybody to the Sheriff's Office this after uh, this morning. We, um, we have a uh, disturbing case that we worked last night. Uh, up here with me this morning is Assistant Chief Fitzpatrick from Columbus Police Department and our Chief uh, Deputy District Attorney Rick Chancy um, from the Russell County DA's office. Uh, yesterday afternoon, um, Columbus Police Department received a call yesterday morning at about 6.15 that was in reference to um, a child, Kamari Holland, who was missing from 1607 Bowman Street, Columbus, Georgia. Uh, the mother, Christy Hoskins, called and reported her five-year-old missing when she woke up was not in the house. Columbus Police Department began work in this case um, and did a lot of great work and developed Mr. Uh, Jeremy Tremaine Williams uh, as a suspect in the kidnapping of Kamari. Uh, when Mr. Williams was developed, they um, called the sheriff's office here and asked us to help them with the kidnapping case. They had some information that he could be over here in Phoenix City. Uh, we began working with CPD at that time, uh, and it wasn't long after that that we located <clears throat> Mr. Williams at the um, Bamboo Hotel on Opelika Road. He had been there uh, for a short period of time, and he had his uncle uh, with him. According to the hotel officials, they had been there about 30 minutes prior to us um, locating them there. Uh, during this time uh, of the investigation, we had received information that Mr. Williams had lived in Phoenix City uh, at an address that was currently vacant. Uh, agents went to that address and it was at that time that we found the body of Kamari Holland. Uh, she was deceased and uh, the manner of death at this time looks to be asphyxiation. Uh, it did appear from the scene that there was some <laughs> abuse. Um, she has went for an autopsy this morning already and we have investigators there and we are anticipating that the uh, post will tell us that there were um, abuse of the child and hopefully we'll be able to uh, recover DNA as well. After that, of course, Mr. Williams is uh, from 1029 Dozier Street in Columbus is his address. Um, he was placed in custody and has been charged with capital murder uh, in Alabama. We will handle um, the case moving forward and the prosecution of the death of Kamari. Um, this case is still ongoing and very early. 
Um, there's a lot of, of details that I'm not willing to uh, disclose at this time because of the uh, urgency in this case and, and potential other folks that we may be looking into as suspects or offenders um, with alongside Mr. Williams. Okay. I'm Kamari Holland's mommy, and she wouldn't want nothing in the world but to donate her toys to another little child that was in need because she was a very healthy child. Oh, she looked like such a sweet little girl. <laughs> she was a very sweet child. She was beautiful. Sweet soul. Thank you. <laughs> and this is, I see this and I touch my heart, so I stop. That's what she was. Mommy, let, let's help that mommy. She's like that. <laughs> She's like that. <laughs> She, um, we, we were at the gas station one time and we seen a family out there and one of the little girls didn't have shoes on and she said, mommy, we can help them, mommy, because I have so many pair of shoes at home, mommy, let's, let's, let's give them my shoes, mommy. And of course we gave them her shoes because Thanks. she's that caring. She had a heart. She had a, she had a spirit that she's been here before and she was a blessing. She is a blessing. Okay, can we just take a moment to notice that there is no actual tears here? Well, how are you coping? <laughs> coping. I'm making it. The media is making me look like I'm some evil person, but I'm not. I'm a mommy, and I did not have nothing to do with this. <sighs> she was my life. I lived for her daily. She was my only girl. I had three boys at her. Was she your youngest? She was my, no, I have one more under her. I have my son under her. And it's hard. It's hard. I don't know if I'm coming or I'm going, but I'm doing it for her. Do you have any support? Do you have people on your side? Someone's helping you? Ain't nobody on my side. They didn't even tell me about the balloon leak. The balloon release today. They hadn't even mentioned her funeral or nothing. So will you get to decide that or? I don't think so. I think that's all dead. Dad had custody of her. Okay. But you know what? I have my peace with her, and she's here in my heart, and that's all that matters. Yes, you're absolutely right. Uh, I can't even fathom what you might be going through, but please know that our hearts and prayers are with you. And I know just at the station, you know, we cover all kinds of news, but for whatever reason, just because of you know what happened it has really hit hard for Definitely. a lot of people and she you that's all you see over social media is her face she was so loved she was so loved now she so she lived in phoenix city yes she lived with dad in phoenix city and she was with me that sunday i picked her up and he prayed on her i can't really talk about it there's a gag order so Okay, and we're not going to try to ask you to talk about that. Um, is her school doing anything? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. She was in school for like literally three weeks and then got kicked out because of coronavirus. Somebody tested positive in class. So we decided not to send her back. But she was so smart. She was just learning how to spell her name. She'd see a K somewhere. She'd be like, Mom, that's K-A-M-A-R-I-E. She was so smart. She was the best little girl ever. So I understand she wanted to, I read somewhere. That princess, she wanted to be a princess. You couldn't tell her nothing. <laughs> All my makeup ruined, and, but she wanted to be a princess. She can have it. She can definitely be. What would you want viewers to know about your daughter? She was just the sweetest girl in the world. You, you couldn't, oh God, you couldn't harm her. She was too sweet. Like You could not harm that little girl because she was just, she's so innocent. So smart. She was fantastic. She was perfect. Well, my heart aches for you. Thank and please know our prayers are with you. I know Thank Tony you. gave you her card. Yes, yes. So. I dropped off some presents and I still have some more that uh -huh. I can I will bring because that's what she would want. And that's, that's definitely very sweet what of she you. would want. Man, is there anything that you want to say to our viewers about life you? short, definitely. Keep your loved ones close. She never know when it's going to be the end. And I'm innocent. I had nothing to do with my daughter's disappearance or murder. I would never. She was my life. Of course she was. She's your baby girl. Exactly. Like, whoever could do that is just disturbing. Very sick in the head.
35 year old Christy Sipple cowers under her hair, hiding her face just before her first appearance Wednesday inside a Russell County District courtroom. The biological mother of five year old Kamari Holland is now facing multiple charges in the child's murder. She has been charged with murder during the course of kidnapping, murder during the course of murder during the course of and human trafficking. Investigators say Sipple reported the child missing from her Columbus home. Sipple claimed she had awakened early on December 13th, found her daughter missing, the front door open. However, according to the human trafficking warrant, investigators allege Sipple on or about December 13th, 2021, did knowingly subject another person to labor, servitude, or sexual servitude. She did agree with another person to pay her for having and with her minor child. That person was allegedly 37-year-old Jeremy Williams, who had a history of abusing children. Williams was arrested and charged with capital murder of a child less than 14 after the girl's body was located in a vacant 15th Avenue home in Phoenix City, where Williams used to live. Investigators have said Sipple and Williams had a relationship. Additional charges against him are forthcoming. A gag order has been issued in the case, preventing investigators from commenting further, but the devastating reality of what they believe Kamari Holland suffered is clear. This has really struck a nerve with us because we care about our kids, we care about our community. So the only thing I have to say is that please monitor where your kids are and who they're around. We're doing everything we can to bring justice for this little girl. This is a session for Kamari Holland. Kamari, I'm asking that Summer Wells can help you figure out how to talk to me today. Beth Chapman, any of the other high, kind, loving, high vibrational spirits of God are welcome to help Kamari. I want to try to speak with Kamari today. My name is Judy. I've been talking to her for the last couple hours, explaining to her what we're going to try to do here. We are going to use the Hope Spirit Box app today, and we're just going to see what we get. Kamari Holland. Are there any spirits here that can find Kamari Holland? Kamari. My name is Judy. Kamari, can you tell us what happened to you, honey? What happened to you, Kamari? Kamari, do you have any messages for your mommy? Kamari, can you tell us where your little body was found? Where where was your physical body found? Can you tell us? <laughs> Baby girl, I'm going to try a different app. It's called the Dead Wave, but it works the same way. I can hear you. Kamari? Why? This is 
Yes, we hear you. We want you to know that we love you, Kamari. Can you tell us where Kamari is now, spirits? Where's Kamari now? Safe? Is she safe now? <laughs> <laughs> 